what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here. <laughs> And welcome back Bet to AI the Somnium Files. <laughs> you did, did a little bit. When we left off, we are training Mizuki in the past for her superhuman strength. Apparently. She is a talented being that can do way more than I could, quite frankly. Yeah. So uh, let's strengthen her with a little bit of a uh, stuff. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No. It's the opposite. <laughs> you must kill your own heart, Mizuki. Oh, God. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. That's dangerous to teach. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. I mean, I guess that's right, <laughs> but... like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. A punching bag or a board. I... Just a punching bag. You cut her off! Oops, I didn't mean to cut her off. Mental preparation is important. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. I... Before I go in, <laughs> if what? I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. <laughs> the mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Oh my god. Yeah, I see. <laughs> no, what? You Actually, no. <laughs> That's stupid. Perfect. <laughs> Being quick to act is crucial. I mean, that is Mizuki, true. Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? Big Wrong. brain. Sneak attack with advantage. That. <laughs> Is a respectable answer, but no. The way to win any fight is this: hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kinda get it, but. Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. <laughs> but thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah. Okay. I get it, but seriously, Date, are you like acting or something? <laughs> not Date, Master. He's having He's, too much like, fun. I'm done with you. Your everyday life is of dire importance. <laughs> what? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? <laughs> Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. <laughs> you can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Anyway, but I did. <laughs> practice these four truths and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. <laughs> Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Definitely a scam. Are you sure? Mm. And how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Well, let's see. How about you throw a punch? Flies across me. I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. It's like, never done this before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obliterates our intestines. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. <laughs> then... Punch forward. Hey! Oh. Uh, he's like, uh, 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 uh. huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's the face of my life right there. Uh. <laughs> How was that? Um. You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. What? Hey, by the way, you just buffered. Did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. Go there right there now. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I Literally not. <laughs> Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike your master. <laughs> He's like that would that hurt. It's a must. <laughs> Please don't. I'm really terrified of you. <laughs> Please leave me alone. 
She's yeah, freaking you're right. one punch man. <laughs> In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. <laughs> well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. She can't argue with that. That's not fair. Bringing up daddy. It's true though. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know. When the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? I feel bad for her though. She's just here by herself. Yeah. Go back to bench pressing apparently. <laughs> Doing a good job, kid. Alright, to Central Hospital. Let's see if we can visit Oda and or Iris. If not either of them. <laughs> I should just be a random receptionist <laughs> that we talk to. Can't even talk to either of them. Oh! Oh, you're here. Are okay. you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Hello. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. You're not crying in they our arms. They told me she would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. <laughs> After passing out. Well, yeah. Like, well, if you, may, if you pass out, there's all kinds of stuff here to help you. I can see the toilet in there. The bathroom. I can't think of a better place to pass out than a hospital. Yeah. The cupboard. <laughs> Curtain. Curtain uses a divider. Peekaboo. Pardon uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> when Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. Huh. Patient monitor. Coming to use for monitoring vital signs. Measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. Okay. What about, uh, okay, that's all not on board. A window. Nice view. A window. That's it. Nothing else there. Sink. That's a mirror. <laughs> well, apparently the mirror is part of the sink, so they consider it a sink. I'll wash my hands with the mirror next time. <laughs> you just put <laughs> soap on your hands and then just touch the mirror. <laughs> a bed. Just wipe, wipe the soap on the mirror. Oh. <laughs> a chair. A round chair. Be clean. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Bedside table. There's a bedside table. That's all that's there. All right, he told me. He told me he's sitting next to the bed. He looks exhausted. Yeah, I wonder why. that's fair. About Iris. She... Iris lost her left eye. Yeah. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. I've got one for her right here. <laughs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. About Oda. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Oda saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. Actually, it was my they, doing. They, <laughs> they went together. I really <laughs> don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. I don't trust Oda in the fucking littlest, dude. Yeah, no. About your alibi. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 
20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect to tell me? Not necessarily. Hey, now, the, the, the hand, the hand Dante, yeah. the hand thing. About <laughs> Oda. I know he was stabbed. Oda was on. actually one of my up. students. <laughs> I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not justice. that I'm one to say, <laughs> but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. A bit of a stalker, but he hey. He risked his yeah. own life to save someone else. <sighs> his mother must have raised him well. He still looks like a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Do you know anything about Iris and so? So, Sejima? The politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. All right. Goodbye for now. Sorry I tried for asking best. you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Awkwardly walk out. All right, let's go back to Abyss headquarters. Running dead ends. Yeah. <sighs> There it is. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna oh, get so man. old so fast. Man. Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Hell yeah. First I'm gonna look at my stuff. The These board. are tasty when they're golden brown. What? Hash browns, not dashboard. I believe you're referring to <laughs> hash browns. God damn it, dude. The hash browns. <laughs> the steering wheel. The glove uh, box. Hash browns sound gloves. so good. I a boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. That's a tongue twister. Okay, that's pushing it. Y'all have been around each other for way too fucking long. <laughs> they don't really All have right. a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, fair enough. Rearview mirror. Rearview mirror. Mirror, mirror in the car. Who is the most handsome policeman by far? Why? That is Mr. Date, of course. It's because you never met Detective Dick Gumshoe, no, okay? No. This is starting to concern me. You really should get some sleep. <laughs> I don't have time to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I've been sitting in the passenger seat. Not to be precise, an image of Ivas sitting in the passenger seat. About so. Suspect only numero uno. There is circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Still hate that whole thing so much. Yeah, same. It's so weird. <laughs> No one's even mentioned it. And when, uh, why, why is no one thinking like, you saw it on the monitors. Didn't thrill alert? Whatever. Uh, more about so. I am more interested in the hired guns that so uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. I wonder why. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Is so trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. That Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. I'm not surprised. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Since they're not connected, <sighs> there wouldn't be any yeah. reason for her to know anything else we don't Still, know. Still, something's not right. That Mayumi. Yeah. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. Poor thing. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. But she probably doesn't remember. She might not remember. Yep. Correct. But her brain could remember. Could it? Any other information? There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Oh yeah. Fingerprints were found on it. Who's? Who hold it? Mayumi Matsushita's. <clears throat> what? Huh. Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 
812 stores are commonly called eights. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. Okay. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Yes. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she hmm. go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... Anything when I'm thinking, Date? Boss? Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Hell yeah, there is. Connect me. Can I even trust you anymore, Date, boss? Did you right. hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. We didn't get to say we're exhausted. <laughs> no. Well, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Uh... It's a hospital. Monday, 542. How are you feeling, Ota? It's weird seeing without his hat. Yeah. You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. Even after bashing me ahead with a fucking pan? How's this? Takes the bedpan. Pah! <laughs> I'm still no. under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. Yet. All right. That's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Boss got, ri got right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs. Maybe it was the high from surveilling, from surviving a life or death surveilling? situation. Maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. Or everything. <laughs> I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that Oda's mom was the one that was in the bear suit. Potentially against Will because Oda absolutely, like, like, listen, I don't trust the fucking kid. No. I know he got stabbed. How exactly that means? I don't know. Maybe it was by accident. But the whole situation screams, please, Love me, Iris or Tessa or whatever the hell you want to call her. Bedside table. It's, it's a bedside, isn't a table. bedside <laughs> table when you move it away from the bed. I suppose then it's just a table. Double. You were gonna say something? I forgot. Damn it. Because it's a TV. Got interrupted. <laughs> hey, Date. When are you planning on leaving? <laughs> not anytime soon. The good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's TV, TV, LCD TV at the top of the bed stand, outdoors, window. Can't go to the sink. Oh, man. How are you going to watch the TV from there? Bed. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to move this curtain for you so you can't do anything. Hey, Date, <laughs> I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. What? Will you sleep with me? No. Why me? <laughs> oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old oh. woman? You're about to get slapped. <sighs> A bed. His he, deathbed if he, he keeps this up. He still is on the, the loopy, the loopy, loopy drugs. <laughs> yeah. Equipment use for monitoring vital signs. The heart rate, all that stuff. That's the same. Curtain. Anyone else going to do a peekaboo? No. Bathroom. No, that's the cover. We're too far forward. We can't do the bathroom. All right. Boss. Boss standing on the other side of the bed. Did you find any new clues? If I did, I would have told you already. All right. Damn. Well, why did you come here? I'm kind of interested in Ota. In me? Not like that. <laughs> you protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Little? I'm 24. To me, you're still little. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to ask, Ota? I'll leave this to you, Date. Okay, thanks. All right, you little shit. What is lying down in bed? We're only bed. six years older than him. You keep calling him a kid. It's because he just looks like... 
We'll ask the important question at the end, but <laughs> actually there's a couple important. Did you hear about Iris? Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Oh, we I know. know Any fan would have done what I did. Mm. It's nothing special. It's as normal as I garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. Oh my god. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared. No doubt. You want me to believe your story? You're not doing yourself any favors, Oda. Yeah. Oda's body temperature is rising. <laughs> uh -huh. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. <laughs> I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. He's he's kind of woo. About, About the, the walk. walk, yeah. Oh yeah. The walk. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Isn't that assault on a police oh, uh, officer? That was. I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so. What? Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. Proud of you. It's okay. But you're not going to get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You Ooh. should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Now, the important question. Who the fuck stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Yeah, and thing. had a fresh cold can of Coca-Cola on their <sighs> side. They always drink the bottles. What are you talking about? <laughs> about that thing on Nile. Yeah, you're gonna That's... say it. <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Bruh. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> Black. But I can't you tell it. you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. Oh. Yeah. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Yeah. So help quit us. being a little bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, you little bitch. <laughs> All right. About the Odoroki Man chocolate. We'll talk about that thing at the end. Seems like the important one. Took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed to Oda. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. His face. What? Do you know something about it? I stole a car because of that. You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. What happened after you left Mat Matsushita Diner? You mean after hitting you with the walk? Walk. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. What about your mom? I drove for a while. Then we decided to take a breather. Did she walk all the way to you? I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was going to go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car and I went inside. But then I heard Tessa screaming. Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away. I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. Hmm. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. After stealing station wagon? Is he so, he's gonna be I took with, the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but pressed with charges for stealing a car. Um, or does this situation excuse that? I mean, in the real world, that kind of thing's not allowed no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just steal a car and get away with it, no matter what it is. It doesn't matter if you get a call from your mom saying you need to come home in four minutes because someone is has me at gunpoint. 
even then cops are still like you can't steal a car yeah <laughs> you call the police even if they say we'll be there in 40 minutes anyways but this is video game logic exactly so he'll probably get off scot-free because we're also we're not even police we're underground police we're the unknown like we're the hipster shit okay the hipster police <laughs> i couldn't find the van anywhere i searched for what felt like hours you didn't contact the police <laughs> hey there we go i thought after i hit you that'd be a bad idea you shouldn't have worried about that but that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. You're still a kid at heart. <laughs> I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So, I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Okay. You have good excuses. I hate that. You have good excuses. <laughs> Very convenient. <clears throat> to running into the warehouse. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, but the whole everything world after saw. that was I off screen. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while, and we got tangled up, and then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Yeah, Denim the Polar Bear. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything really at all you can anything. remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. That's Dante, look. Oh, come on. <laughs> nah, you little shit. After all this, what is he trying to hide? I think it might be his mom under there. And maybe he knows that. Yeah. And he's concerned about that. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. About you doing just regular about? otaku things? <laughs> when I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because... Something happened after. Oh, lay it on me. What's that thing? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Huh? Interesting. Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. Hmm. You promise? Anything for you. <laughs> whipped but um like if dude if some After adult that, asks the you the light turned green and she drove off to run an errand probably knowing that you don't have a license you wouldn't need a car but if it, like, well that, that, no, you register what that situation was because you know that we've since we've gone back in time the timeline might be a little messy i know i'm, that, sa I'm saying it was a horrible excuse yeah <laughs> but once again that's iris that's with around the time I know. of after her meeting with Renju and then killing him. Oh, well, uh, supposedly killing him. Because especially when you do that, puts you at a little sus row. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, she could have come up with a more believable excuse. She's horrible. Horrible Was actor. Iris the <laughs> only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. 
as far as we know. That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. More about it. <laughs> Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. Yeah. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. That is weird. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. We know that's true. <laughs> what is going on here? But... We saw that Iris did something really weird to Oda's mom yeah. before all these events transpired. And there's evidence that's leading behind the fact that Oda's mom was at the scene because of the chocolate that was there. Uh -huh. That had her fingerprints on it, too. Maybe Iris did some kind of brainwashing and crafted that situation almost in a way to throw off suspicion of herself potentially i don't know what do you mean crafted the situation like what iris playing iris playing the entire buzzsaw thing and used oda's mom with whatever happened in in the restaurant used that you think she took her own eye out maybe yeah while conscious or had Oda's mom do it while under fucking... That's a stretch. I'm throwing it out there and sticking to it. That's a stretch. Date, Ota is acting strange. You think? I advise caution. What do you mean? Let's Hello? x-ray this little shit. Uh... Uh... Ota? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? Yeah. In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. Pull the blanket? How do we handle this? Yep. <clears throat> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! What the fuck? Thanks, boss. <laughs> Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. <laughs> but we can do something else. But you can still get information. Yep. I know what else we can do. Inside his head. Advanced questioning. Why the fuck is he holding a knife? I don't to know. make himself look even more fucking suspicious. Every time I... Just when I thought maybe you didn't have anything to do with this, you fucking hold a knife the entire time. Also, how, Way did, to ruin my trust. how did he get a knife? He's in a hospital. <sighs> That's another okay. great fucking well, question. <laughs> they don't Please give you knives at the go. hospital. <laughs> Won't oh be a problem. Goodness. That should have been but impossible. Are you sure this is yeah. okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But it's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. That that should be <laughs> impossible for him to have a knife. Yeah, As let's not worry about it that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here comes here comes the crazy stuff. Oh boy. And it wasn't even like a, a normal, it was a freaking kitchen knife that you would find <laughs> yeah. like far away from access I, to what is that? Way to come in. It's Iba. Oh, hi! Can you please take me with you? Yes. I will adopt you right now. <laughs> as long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. I felt bad, Sorry, dude. we can't have pets. No! <laughs> Cold-hearted old man. <laughs> <laughs> if he's old, what does that make me? Okay. Is this a cold storage I'm going to be 30 soon. <laughs> Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? <laughs> well, this is the important part, so. No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. It you is. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. 
Interesting. It's because he's short. <laughs> hey, that's. Right. Oh boy. Huh. Iris is about to be. Stop right there. Oh, oh boy. God. The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. Yeah. All calling on me to strike back against evil. Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole flip was off camera. I get it, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> I will protect Tessa. Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? Wow. This is Oto's <laughs> memory of it. Boy. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. A bit? All right. Let's help reproduce the memory. Oh, boy. Okay. And we're going to help reproduce that memory next time. This. This is a fever dream. Holy crap. Oh, my the God. The music. With the shadow that's right there, that's right next to us, next to Date, that yeah. shadow there. I'm like, is that All Might? It does look <laughs> like All Might. <laughs> With the music. It's exactly what Oda needs oh, in this moment. no. A real hero. Oh. <laughs>